Hello everyone, I'm James Milan. Welcome to this ACMI special. Um, if you watch ACMI at all, you know that we've got a soft spot in our hearts for local filmmakers and for their work. And we are here uh, with three members of a local film crew, and uh, production crew, I should say, um, and to talk about their latest production. And they brought everybody that we need to know uh, along with them. So seated next to me, and welcome to all three of you, of course, but seated next to me is Greg Hill, who is the director, the filmmaker um, for Gracie of the Alewife. And right next to Greg is actually one of the pivotal folks in the film. That's Jethro. Hello, Jethro. How do? How do? Glad good. to be here. Glad to be here. <clears throat> yes, yeah. really glad you could make the time and get away from the river long enough to be here. Well, you know, it was, I was a, I just tell you, it was like out there with my best friend Jasper, uh, well, it might have been Otis, but we were, yeah, it was a Sunday, we should have gone to choir practice, we knew, but we were out there and, you know, had a couple of beers. Yep. And, Threw the line in there, and next thing we knew, we'd caught, we'd caught this Yeah, video. so you're, you're, yeah. you're getting ahead of me a little bit there, yeah. Jethro, because, you know, people are going to be wondering, who the heck is that? That was well, we too. none other than Gracie. Yeah, that yes. must have been your first thought as well, I would think. And, of and course, anybody is. as fierce as Gracie, we need a handler for, yes. of course, and that's Hello. rhododendron over yes, there. Yes, I'm and rhododendron. And she originated from a culvert in, in the uh, Alewife nice, Park. Incidentally, I, this is really yeah. not uh, a current, this production was uh, from 2016, and we just finally finished post-production on that. That's good. That sounds yeah. like, uh, you know, some other, other local filmmakers we yeah. know, in yes, fact. That's a timeline we're time. familiar with here yeah, at ACMI, you know. in fact. Sure. Um, so let me just, first of all, find out, I mean, how on earth did this exotic creature get here? So what, what, okay. is the, what was the inspiration? What was the genesis for this project? Well, actually, it was the uh, genesis of our friend Bob, uh, and this, this were his notes he gave me, Gracie of the Alewife came to be because I had a broken post hole digger and some long black tubing. No. Seeing them together in my Gracie. backyard, I thought the double shovel of the post hole digger would fit in the tubing. It okay. fit and it looked like a giant snake. Since I live along the Alewife and love monster movies the 50s and 60s, and knowing that Grace Chemical had polluted the airway for generation, it was fitting to have something like Gracie appear out of the brook. All right, well, clearly, <laughs> Jethro and Rhoda have something to say about that because, uh, I mean, Bob made it sound like, oh, well, it just kind of happened, but uh, you, you must feel like there's more, there's more fate in it than that, right, we Jethro? Saw, we saw this creature going down the airway creek and we somehow snagged it. I can't remember now exactly every detail. Otis or Jasper got it, snagged it up there. We did have some, we had some trouble arguing about what we should do with it. He wanted to take it and sell it for down at the fish market, and then and I said let's take it to the um, to the what do you call it the anthropology museum mm -hmm. and maybe we could sell it there and people could you know maybe give give us donate some money, you know we could talk about it. But after that I don't know what happened. We woke up and the thing was we slid it off anyway. That, is so that right? So, so suddenly you fell asleep in the middle of you all that. You fell asleep, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. this sounds like a little something fishy going on there, but just well, just kidding. Yeah. Uh, Rhoda, if I can just ask you, I mean, how how what's it like to, you know, be mainly responsible for this creature's well-being, but also, you know, keep it from scaring the heck out of other people? Oh, she's a good old gal. She just likes to eat little fishies and a little micees. Uh-huh. And, well, we you know, that. I just... Keep her in a little fish tank right there at the outside the aquarium, and and she's just just got a lovely life right now. You do have mouse traps here, James. Yes, we good, are we good, are I we are all we set. So we should have warned you yes. ahead of time. All right, and yeah. she doesn't mind being too this far away from from the alewife at the moment. For now, she's fine. Mm -hmm. Yes, as long as we keep her well fed and yeah. And sedated. Please make. Please yeah. make sure that you do. Yes. Okay. Of course, we, she was we, originally we all, detected by, as you'll see in the clip, she was originally detected by a scientist from Gracie with his detector. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, you'll see yes. that in the clip. All right. So I think, That's you know, if we're going to talk yeah. too much more about this, I think we kind of need to bring everybody yes. up to speed a little I think bit. So. so. Hey, 
what's going on there, partner? Any uh, luck fishing? Oh, yeah, a little bit here and there. Enough to, you know, to fetch dinner, that's about it. Enough to fetch dinner, you that's said? That's what I said, yeah. Have you? Big, be quiet. Can you keep it down? Have you caught any strange fish from this stream? I tell you, I caught me a tadpole the size of a sea turtle the other day. All scaly, green eyes, and all kinds of strange things oozing out of here. A tadpole the size of a sea turtle oh, with you know. green eyes and strange things oozing I've out of I've seen things in here you wouldn't believe. All floating around, scurrying and snaking around, coming out of that there pipe right there, too. Coming out of that pipe. That's what I said. I heard what you said. All right. Well, have a good day there, uh, Mr. Doctor Scientist Man. Tetrahydrazolone levels are rising. Acetate, multi forolone zone increasing. Polyhydrazolate discombobulating. For miles around, eat their exotic flavors. Yeah, but you can't you only get one, one about a bunch of money, money out of that. Five hundred dollars worth of fish yeah, in here, we, I bet. I'm telling you, if we sell them to the Peabody or Pot by Sherman Museum, we could get more money than we could ever know what to do with. I don't think well, they just give you a little brass plaque. You don't get no kind of, no kind of money. They just donate. So what we do? is we tell them that we know where there's a hell of a lot more, so they better see feeding us. We don't. Well, we don't. They don't know that. They would well, take it that. That's going to, that's, that's not a fair trade. They okay. don't, I won't have that. I don't think that asshole I don't is think you're, now. I don't think our down. mother would want us to be going through the world like that. We just sell the damn fish for, for, for pound, poundage, like our ancestors of old. <laughs> I saw these two creepy guys go over there with the monster. He's probably over there right now. You saw two creepy guys with the monster? I want to go talk to these men. Okay. I want to go over there. Okay. I know, I know, I saw it. I saw the two men bringing it here. Oh, there it is. I told you so. Oh. We've got to put her back in the river where she belongs. Yeah, that's right. Small vegetation growth. Large vegetation growth. Floral growth. Small fauna. What is that? I would say that clears everything up right there, right? <laughs> Doesn't it, audience? That's, Thought what, so. that's what happened. That's, that's, that's really what happened. Yeah. So yeah. let's talk. Let's talk a little bit. Take a half step back, if we can, and just. Talk about what about this project. I'm, it's it's the product of your guys' collective efforts and um, and obviously some other cast members as well. Oh yes. Um, and uh, we know you know from Bob Smith's own words where where the idea came from. Uh -huh. But tell us about you know how it is that you approach making ma making this film and the others that you have made in the past as well. 
Well, we just, you know, we, we, uh, we come up with these ideas and we have, uh, some of us have characters like um, um, Jethro here has played uh, Dr. Elliot Loch Ness, paranormal investigator in uh, The Maltese Toad and also in uh, The Haunting of Powder House which was uh, one we did a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, Rhoda here has, has played a number of different characters. And we're a repertory. Mm -hmm. And we, we bounce ideas off one another. And uh, we shoot, do a lot of the shoots along the Yale Life. The, the, the river is a, is a, seems to be a constant theme in our okay. work. Okay. And, and but. Uh, in Powder House Park. Y yes. Mm -hmm. And. Um, Nick has done quite a bit of, excuse me, Jethro has done a lot of, <laughs> who? Jeth Who's this Nick guy you can talk about? I don't about. know. <laughs> Jethro has done a lot of repertory, um, uh, you know, in the greater Boston area. I think he's played, uh, how many pirate roles have you played? Oh, uh, you do have that kind of voice. Oh, he oh, does, yeah. yes. I got to say. Way back in the olden days, yeah. 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 <laughs> but you came, come out here, what was it, 74? You could not not get a part in a play. There's so many theater companies you walk in. They said, "Yeah, you're you're it." Yeah, yeah is that right? Remember those? <laughs> <laughs> um, Everybody's had a truck company going. Yeah, so we mm -hmm. may we may ask you, Jethro, to channel this Nick person who apparently may have had a, a, a maybe having yeah. a, a well, full-on acting career of some sort. He's pretty muddy, but he's in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Another part of our repertory is this Nick character. Yeah, sort mm -hmm. of like Nick Danger. Uh, only Nick more Nick more dangerous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so you, you're you're saying that your repertory group. How large is the group? I know the the name of the uh, of the troop is Sunnyside Players. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, just tell us a little bit how cons how long have you, has that been in existence? How many members are in there? How consistent has it been over time? All those kinds of things. Well, we kind of met um, at at a cooperative gallery in Inman Square. Uh, probably in the early 90s. 93. 93, yeah. yeah. And um, we just kind of goof around and make jokes. So we've kind of been friends ever since in a weird way. Mm -hmm. And we just Got the hang out there. and piano make Dave. stuff yeah, up. So there you go, yeah. from Piano Dave's, piano the, Dave's mm -hmm. the, the establishment yep. you were just referencing, reels. right? Brought yep. you guys together. Yep. Yeah. And uh, totem, we uh, totem creation was one of the hallmarks of the, the, the um, uh, of Piano Dave's. There was one out in front of Piano Dave's. There are totems in uh, Gracie, and there are uh, uh, we've also been involved in the cre creation of totems in the uh, sculpture garden, free range sculpture garden, yeah. which is. Um, along the Minuteman bike path outside Davis Square, Somerville. Mm -hmm. And so. the totems are originally ship parts from the Charlestown Navy Yard. They're those, uh, those molds for the sand casting. Mm -hmm. And so um, while we were over at Piano Dave's, they got a hold of a bunch of them and started to create um, totems out of them, like bear sculptures and uh, eagle sculptures and all kinds of totems. And one time we even put one out on, in Cambridge <laughs> on the ca common and uh, one of our dear deceased friends, unfortunately, well, no, we won't talk about that part. Um, <laughs> he um, put a note on it saying that this was a gift from the indigenous people and it stayed out on the Cambridge Common for a while. <laughs> Is that right? It got yeah. confiscated, so who knows where. Yes. Mm -hmm. we always thought, I can't remember who was the governor then back then, but it was like, Sergeant? we always like to imagine that it was in his patio there somehow. Yeah. <laughs> confiscated. Was that Dukakis that. or was that? Was that yeah, I don't know. So that, yeah. get, that goes all the way back that far. That's, yeah. that's yeah. a good long while. So, so it's just but, kind yeah. of, you know, a lot of it's just for fun mm -hmm. and just certain silly things that we've done for yeah, fun. Yeah, they take on, they yeah. take on Characters, and if after a while, you know, they start becoming. I think mm -hmm. we they have moved around. They get stolen. They they reappear. It's, yeah. it's very strange. We have <laughs> about yeah. seven or eight members of the repertory. Marcus Neche, is that how you pronounce Marcus's well, name? Yeah, he's but, yeah. he's been a uh, one of our character uh, actors, and of course Bob also has played. Uh, 
Bob plays the uh, gamekeeper in Gracie. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Kyoko and uh, uh, our friend Kyoko Ono uh, has been in, in the multi. <laughs> yeah. No, she's that's, that's her real that's name. That's her real yeah. name. She yeah. she she's in the uh, both the Alewife Library and the Maltese Toad, which are in post production right now. Okay, and it sounds to me like from those titles that and just even looking at the trailer for Gracie here, that you guys have an appreciation for for film history and for yeah. genres and yeah. for playing with those genres and for adapting them to the things that you want to do. Yeah. Um, is that, again, how much of this has just kind of come about from you, as you said before, you've just been having fun together for a long time? Yeah. How, yeah. And how much of it was a, a, a vision that you had, a plan, a, you know, has there ever been yeah. a plan, I guess? I think a lot of it comes out the fact that Piano Dave's gallery was a cooperative and our productions are basically cooperative, cooperatively created. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we all collaborate in the, uh, in the productions. I may have been the director and camera operator for Gracie of the Alewife, but it was really everybody piling on with their ideas and their own, the improvisations of, of their various characters. Mm -hmm. and, and you can't help but be influenced by, you know, Jonathan Winters, of, that probably doesn't come through in this, but what is it, Monty Python, things like that. Yeah, they just George yeah. Carlin, yeah. Uh, some of our influences, Emma Jean Gilda Cole. Radner, Soupy yeah, yeah, Sales, yeah. <laughs> Bob Newhart. <laughs> Yes, I'm, I'm yeah. detecting a theme here. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you, yeah. you, can't, you can't help yeah. it. You can't, you know, and, there. Uh, yeah. you know, some of it's kind of confusing for other people, but we just kind of, yeah. I think, get a kick out of yeah. feeding yeah. off yeah, each other. A, you can edit this out later, but I think somebody, one of our group said this is, after watching one of our things, says, this is just an in-joke. This is, go, yeah, that's probably a very valid criticism there, you know. Yeah, some right, but I mean, reason. all the yeah. three of you have been in from the get-go, right? So yeah, tell, yeah. just tell yeah. me a little bit about what it sort is of. that this this does for you guys. This this work together. Unpredictable and fun. Especially. Yeah, it's yeah. funny, yeah. and then yeah. and then you just kind of improvise and feed yeah. off of each other. We, ex to hang out. we expect yeah. the unexpected. Mm -hmm. I like, think the favorite skit is in the in the shack the the Maltese toad where I'm his secretary and we're literally shoulder to shoulder but I keep on calling him on the phone <laughs> and of course I'm whiny and high pitched but uh, we keep on calling each other on the phone uh, get on line one yeah. and then he'll start rambling and I'll say no you we've got a customer yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, don't, yeah. And, uh, and we keep on messing it up yeah both yeah. Alewife Library and um, the Maltese toad will uh, hopefully come out of post production this fall. And maybe the, you might be screening them here at. Uh, and if not, just some wacky hog, scenes. We don't want to hog the, the studio. But <laughs> then again, yeah. Yeah. so see. how how does it get made? Uh, you know, like logistically and technically, how do you make these? Because you need equipment, you need some facilities or resources, mm -hmm. right? We have a Panasonic camcorder. We have access to a shack along the Alewife, which is uh, which we uh, d dubbed the Love Shack. It's more like the uh, the whack shack. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a character in itself. It's yeah. a character yeah. in itself. It's, it's a library yeah. once, so that you get to say paranormal research center next time. But the funny, I think it's funny is that Rhododendra is this character that just seems to be like making all these lateral <laughs> advancements. And, and when this is, she's the secretary there. She doesn't care what is going Librarian on there. Librarian. She's and getting paid is another hack job. That's what's funny. I think that's. And one of them of doesn't even thing. have resources. I think this, yeah, there's ants the coming out of this no thing. Oh. Above all, we're we're, <laughs> we're going to be we're going to be wrapping up sooner than we thought. Maybe yeah. if there's ants coming out of there. All right. <laughs> Above all, we are an improv, mm -hmm. and um, we we play off each other. Um, there's some common themes, but it's you know it's uh, having a lot of fun, but also you know poking some good satire at you know. Uh, mm themes. Right. And in this case, tell, tell us about the, the, the aim, you know, what were you targeting here with Gracie? Yes. Well, the go. fact that the uh, Grace Chemical had polluted, been polluting the AOI for years, uh, and then our friend Bob had come up with this creature, we decided to put two and two together because we all, we noticed there was a culvert in the Alewife, you know, and so that chemical, was, chemical mutant. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. of course you see the scientist in, in the in the film 
with his detector and his lab coat and his looking like gyro gerlos. Um, and, and that was part of it too. And he actually, uh, Marcus has actually extended his stay as a scientist in the Maltese Toad and the Alewife Libraries. So. And it's very weird and it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Okay, so, so <laughs> not, there, there's no, there aren't overarching, you know, messages or goals that you're aiming for as much as you, you really are having a good time and you choose the context uh, yeah. in which you're yeah. going to do right. that. Any, any yeah. messages are just incidental. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like one of the, the, the focuses is on this toad that's a mystery. And yeah. we yeah. And never, and uh, then the other one was the library. And there's just no resources like the librarian gets a donation of a phone that's a dial. And she's like, oh, great. How am I going to press pound? <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah. I mean, so we've got to have a skeletal script that's funny, though, how it all just you know, puts stuff it just starts you know forming around that. Future yeah. productions may feature uh, a pirate play yeah, a of Jethro's, and yeah. um, maybe uh, a uh, production involving Vikings. Oh, that the, the Viking ghosts that la that land on the alewife and come out and want to um, uh, turn the uh, our shack into a uh, a Viking uh, a Viking house. So clearly, your guys' creative. Uh, the wheels are still spinning creatively oh God, yes. for you, and yeah. you can imagine more projects going forward, of course. Well, no, there'll never be a lack of projects. Um, and how much, in general, how much time or how big a part of your lives is this work that you do together or this play that you do together? I've got a full-time job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a retiree. Mm -hmm. It takes a while to get us all to coordinate a lot of times. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. we go, yeah. Yeah, always tough to get people's schedules yeah, right. together. <laughs> you know, right? yes. To find the time and the, you know. Yes. I mean, it's not our be all, yeah. end all, but it's our, um, we just hope it's not going to be our end. <laughs> <laughs> um, and who, to the extent that you think or want there to be an audience for this, mm. who is that? I mean, it sounds like something, you question. know, you were saying good question. Is that, is that it's question? like you, you've been accused of it being an in-joke, et cetera. Clearly, you're having a good time yourself, so we can assume that you guys are enjoying it. Yes. Uh, I'll tell but you, I'll confess, you, I'll confess my, two, my two older sons watch it, uh, but they, 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 they find it amusing for all the different ones. <laughs> for all the wrong reasons and that we Gracie were up, to and make it laugh for. Gracie <laughs> up on YouTube does have 186 hits now. Mm-hmm. Or mm -hmm. views, mm -hmm. and yeah. or you know, so uh, clearly um, <laughs> somebody's watching it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much of, I but know. you know, yeah, right. But again, is that how mm -hmm. much does that figure in for you guys, if at all? Well, you yeah, mean how important just, is it yeah. for us to have an audience? Who, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Who's the audience? I'd say very important the, because we, we do it not just for ourselves, but for um, the question we're creative. A lot over the years. Mm -hmm. Who's your we're, audience? Why? We're trying to create something that people will enjoy and um, get a kick out of. Mm -hmm. You know. And do you have opportunities to like present? You know, the films in a setting in which you can you know invite the audience in, have them be there. Yeah, see yeah, yeah. their reactions. Talk to them afterwards. Yeah, well, well this may back. be yeah. the beginning of it. I, yeah. I, I don't. You you have opened a Pandora's box there, James. We did so. scat. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We did a few yeah. scat ones. Yeah, we, we, we were did actually on public access TV where I it was the uh, Branko Cranko show. One of my characters and I had yeah. them on. And you were mentioning Somerville. Yeah. Yes. Somerville's Media so, Center. Yeah. Yep. I have yeah, a we did friend a who has a ga yeah. gallery. He's, he has to get his license back again. Then he wants to have like a film festival there. Yeah, so, the Outpost yeah. 186. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, again, I think you know, no. you guys are putting something into this, and again, getting something out of it. But also, wouldn't it be nice to just kind of see if it connects and how it yeah. connects yeah. to yeah. other people in real time instead of kind of hearing about it? Sure. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully, either you know, in collaboration with us, Somerville, some combination, you know. That can mm -hmm. that can be part of the future too, right? That'd be mm -hmm. great. That'd, yeah. Anything? Uh, so we we need, uh, half an hour has gone like that. It is. So, um, so we need to be wrapping up. But what else should folks out there know about Gracie and the Alewife, or Sunnyside Players, or anything else you 
You, you are invited to fill up the next two or three minutes in whatever way you'd like. Well, just that we have had some previous productions. A couple of them are on YouTube, but we really have to get our YouTube channel better organized. Uh, and we do have um, the Maltese Toad uh, and the Alewife Library, which have been filmed. And it's up to uh, moi to uh, you know finish up the editing. We just had a review of the uh, of the footage, the video footage, um, in in uh, Arlington last week, mm -hmm. to see what what uh, what clips we wanted to keep and what clips we wanted to uh, not use. Mm -hmm. So yes, you, yeah. some of us you, have to some, watch uh, our language. Arlington, you'll be seeing more, <laughs> and you'll be seeing more of us, like it or yeah. not. I think it's like a, there's a whole just the un, the unnameable production. The first thing we did. I think all those, sometimes I always see the way that they would be tied together because a lot of the humor would be that, oh, there's that character again. If mm -hmm. anybody, yeah. somehow, they're, not, they're not that, dis, you know, that different anyway, really. The, but I think the, that's yeah. even part of it, too. Yeah, <laughs> so it's part of it. Yeah, coming the, up with. Uh, that guy, yeah. Was, yeah. yeah you know. He plays the same character, I which know. is obnoxious, and then we just kind of play <laughs> sort of different characters or. <laughs> <'Cause>, now <laughs> make sure that Gracie doesn't, doesn't sneak away back into the culvert. Fair okay. enough. Yeah, well, you gotta keep, she's going keep back on the tank, her, okay? She's going she back into back her in tank. She's got a firm hand on her from what I can well, see. Well, because she's a product of the chemicals and she's a mutant. And, uh, you know, just keep her entertained. She's very with well behaved and, as long as well, you keep feeding her. Yeah. As long as the river rats don't don't uh, get a hold of her and try to sell her off to they the Peabody Sherman Museum, the mother threw her back in the mother and daughter threw her back in the river. I forgot about well, that. Well, because they care well, about her. Yeah. That was an act of charity. Yeah. Yes. Well, they cared about her. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, I right. Um, am sorry to say, the time is up. We're gonna we are going to just thank our guests at this point. Um, I have been speaking to three members of the Sunnyside Players. Um, Greg Hill, of course, has been uh, is going to soon edit the rest of the other two films, but he has clearly completed his work I'm with doomed. Gracie. I'm <laughs> doomed. Jethro uh, slash Nick, mm -hmm. thank you very much for being here. Thanks for and of course, Rhododendron, yeah. other you know, in other circumstances known as Martha Whitman, perhaps. <gasps> yes, well, Rhododendron's my stage name. So. Well, there you go. Yeah. Um, really appreciate you guys taking the time to be with us today. Thank you, Clearly, uh, a, this is a fun project. It is showing on ACMI's channels, and um, please enjoy and let these guys know once you do. I've been speaking um, with these three uh, Sunnyside players. I'm James Milan. This has been an ACMI local filmmaking special. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Arlington. Thank you. Yeah.